and welcome to Roger Supply Tech Talk. I'm Kevin Magnabosco. Today we're going to cover to check our inducer motor to see if it's pulling proper vacuum to close our pressure switches. Today we're going to be using our field piece SDMN6. Another item you're going to need to check operation. Makes it easier if you have a short piece of hose and a T because we're going to monitor this why this is running. So we need this closed off and sealed. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our vacuum hose off our inducer motor. And we're gonna put in our little T. We're gonna connect to our inducer motor first, our port on there. Our hose from our inducer, we're gonna put on one leg of our T. Our tube from our manometer, we're gonna hook to our other part of our T. By teeing in with this, we can actually run it and read the pressure as the furnace is running. Now we're ready to start the furnace up to see where this pressure switch is actually reading and our inducer is pulling. We're going to start our furnace up. Since this is a two-stage furnace, the inducer motor is going to come on higher at first, then it's going to step down just to keep the low fire pressure switch closed. Once it does step down, it's going to start the ignition process. Our igniter is going to glow. Right now we are pulling at a 1.1 inch of water column. Uh, this furnace pressure switch is rated at a 0.67 inch water column. Typically you will see if we have no problems with the equipment, about six points higher than what the pressure switch is rated. In this case it is just about six points higher. So now we know that the inducer motor is pulling the proper vacuum for our pressure switch, which is checking our vent pipe, our intake if we're a solid tube pipe, and our heat exchanger. Thank you.